Good day from ChemHelp ASAP. Let's learn about how to name ethers as organic molecules. So ethers, remember, ethers have this, uh, are an oxygen that has, is attached to two other carbon groups. So they don't have to be the same. It can be R and R prime. They can be different, but it's two different R groups. Now when we name ethers, we're going to use this oxy um, phrase in our names, and so we'll see that shortly. The first molecule on this slide is not an ether. It is a pentene, a five-carbon alkene, pentene. And so when we number this chain, we number it starting on the left so that the alkene gets as, as low a number as possible. And that means the chlorine gets a high number, a five, but that's okay. Um, it's, it's all about the, the high-priority functional group. So we get five-chloro-one-pentene. Now let's add something to this molecule. Let's put in this group. So now this is an oxygen that is attached to two carbons. This is an ether. For our purposes, um, ethers are very low priority groups. So the alkene is still the high priority group. And the longest carbon chain that contains the alkene is still five carbons long. This is still going to be a pentene. It's going to be a one pentene. And that pentene is still going to have a five chloro group. But how do we handle this ether? Well, the ether we're going to call an oxy group. Now, it's not just an oxy group, or else all ethers would be the same, but our oxy group has a methyl group on it. So we're going to call it a meth oxy. So the meth is attached to the oxy, and then the oxy is attached to our pentene chain, where? At the three position. So chloro C comes before meth, so let's put that first. 5 chloro. Now in the 3 position, we have a meth oxy group, and that is on our 1 pentene. Okay, let's, let's go to another. Very similar example. Again, we have an alkene that's our high priority group, and that high priority group is attached to this uh, carbon chain, 5-carbon chain. So this again is going to be a pentene. It's going to be 5-chloro, just as we said before. Now we have a different oxy group. Now, so what is the R group on our oxy? Up here, up, up in the middle structure, it was a methyl. This is not a methyl. This is some kind of propyl. We learn this as an isopropyl. We, we drop the YL, though. We'll say it's isopropoxy. So just as up top, we, we didn't say methyl oxy, we said meth oxy. Now this is not isopropyl, it's isoprope oxy. So isoprope, that's an I, so that still follows chloro. So 5 chloro, 3 isopropoxy, 1 pentene. So this is how we incorporate ethers into our names. We, the ether substituent is an oxy group, and then on the front of the oxy group, we stick what the alkyl group, what is the other R group that's attached to the oxygen. And that's how we incorporate ethers.